How you doing, guys? Hi. Uh, today is Feb February. <laughs> today is uh, March second. I just went back to the future. I was gonna say. But uh, background. yeah, March second, Saturday, all day. But uh, <laughs> all day. I got some unboxings and some uh, store pickups that I got this week. So we're just gonna jump right in and uh, start showing you everything I got before I start this video. You know, please hit the like button, comment down below if you liked any of these uh, pickups or uh, want to talk about anything. And, uh, ding! You, hit the yeah. notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, us, huh? yeah, please subscribe. That helps us out. Okay. So, thank you. But let's just jump right in. First thing I got from Cinema Sickness. Uh, if anybody's seen his videos as you should if you're watching me uh you you'll should. pretty much know what's in this in this package um you just gave your own spoiler yeah uh last week when he was in florida he called uh he texted me a couple times that uh he found some 3d titles and if i was interested in them there was a couple of them that were i already had or some of them were beat up so i passed but there was three titles that he found that i needed so I'm just going to show you what I got for those. Um, the Bulldog. Oh, sorry, Bulldog. First one he picked up at a Goodwill for me, and that's Dolphin's Tale in 3D. This has uh, Harry Connick Jr., Ashley Judd, Chris Christopherson. Um, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Inspired it by Amazing True Story of Winter. Didn't have this movie. Have it now. And on 3D. Makes it even better. But... Happy to have that one. Don't drop it. Nope. Second one. I have the second movie. I didn't have the first one. And that's Piranha in 3D. Like I said, I have Piranha 3 Double D, but not the regular 3D. I don't think I've ever seen this one. See Sex and Blood. How can you say no to that? So. Mm, no. No, exactly. So that's a, that's a pickup right there. Uh, last one. Oh, I had to my save, favorite. Yeah, I had to save the best for last. Uh, the official 2010 FIFA World Cup film Ooh. in 3D. That's, I know people want to come over and watch this. No, you, you just watch the video. You can't come over. But um, <laughs> It's 20 degrees here. They don't want to come over. Yeah. <laughs> it's soccer. I'm not a big soccer guy. Um, but it's 3D. It's for the collection. I need it. I'm happy with it. Thank you, CS. Yeah, I'll uh, probably check it out one day. Thanks, CS, for those. In the back. Yeah, it'll be uh, bottom of the food chain. Uh, next thing I got is my February Horror Pack. Um, Horror Pack is a month subscription. I've been a subscriber since the first month, so. I'm sorry. I'm always happy to. <laughs> To get these no you can get some really good limited editions that you can't get in the store that's yeah in the horror pack so and i recommend the horror pack if you really enjoy horror. yeah yeah uh, the limited editions that they have some of them never been released to blu-ray or they have special features that were never put on the blu-ray and uh, numbered. yeah they're all numbered plus i've gotten autographed uh blu-rays and some really cool ones, so another month. So, like always, let her crack in and uh, see the snippy. Ooh, creepy! Oh, yeah, let's see what this one is. This one is some kind of hate, never seen it, never heard of it, but that means I don't have it. Strong, scary, smart, and sinister. How can you say no? Don't forget, awesomely violent. Oh, yeah, that one too. So. <laughs> Cool to have that one in the collection. Next one. I'll let you do one. Nah, you can do one. There's always, always do it. Have some more violence. Oh, yeah. Violent Kind. <laughs> from the producers of Halloween and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Know nothing about it. Buckets of blood run throughout. Kind is violent. How can you say no to that? Mm. Official selection for the Sundance Film Festival. 
Um, I heard this one was pretty good, but that was from looking at reviews, but um, I'm interested in checking this one out. It's going to look good, I think. Next one. The envelope, please. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one right there. Horror pack, limited edition. Number. Yep. Number 32. Ooh. Never, I know this has never been released to Blu-ray. This is President's Day. And if I'm correct, oh. this has Sean C. Phillips, a.k.a. Cool Duder in it. I think I've seen this. I'm not 100%, but cool to have it and cool to have it on Blu-ray. I said, another another nice one to add to the collection. Cool. Duder. <laughs> A little slow. Yeah. Nice. I set you up for that one. But, uh, <gasps> last one. Special collector's edition Ooh. with the slippy. I don't have this. Uh, Misery. Screen Factory collector's edition with the slip. Uh, last week when I went to Best Buy to wash my tears away, from Big Lux closing down at the Dead Mall that I went to. I almost picked up Misery. I'm so glad I didn't because I would have been returning it. But um, I'm happy to have this one with the slip. Another one to add to the collection. And that's all for Horror Pack. Next one. A nice... Pretty in pink. Yeah. Pretty in pink envelope. This one... Yeah, if I'm correct, this one came from McCarty. Uh, it's tissue paper on pink tissue paper and some more, more tissue, tissue paper. paper. Yeah, let's see right here. It's all tissue paper. It's all, they used a bunch of tissue paper <laughs> to make an envelope. That's a new one for me. But uh, this movie, I saw $5 for free shipping and I was like, I was interested in it. I remember seeing it at Target, but uh, I watched the trailer. It looked pretty good, so I decided to pick it up. And that's a space between us. Thanks, FYE, for all these stickers. But use one hundred percent guaranteed. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> take that as you like. Yeah, I was. This story looked interesting. I like romantic style movies, and with space, even better. So, or we will have to work a little bit on these stickers. But happy to have that one for the collection. Like I said, it came with a nice. Slip cover full of stickers, but slip mm -hmm. cover nevertheless. Yeah, they went uh, sticky happy. Oh yeah. And then uh another one when C S was in Florida, he went to a store. I can't remember what the name of the store was, but they if you remember, he had uh huge plastic bins full of movies. Him, Ariel, and Rick Sister went to. And he saw a 3D movie that he'd never seen before. When he opened it up, it was missing Ooh. the disc. So I decided I'm going to go online and look for it because I've never even heard of this movie. I wanted to take it out in case it was tight. And, uh, <laughs> and it was. And this I actually got off of eBay. And that was 3D Magic Forest. Now this one is an odd one because it's not a movie... And it's not a documentary. This is an actual um, relaxation Blu-ray. That uh, it, they said it's good for saunas and. Let me have a little read. Recommended usage. This wonderful series of DVD is recommended for many different uses, such as for a background for conversation, medical, and other waiting rooms. Wellness centers, saunas, and sleep aid. Yeah. Now, how can you do that with 3D? I don't know. <laughs> but it looked interesting. I have to check this out. But uh, when I saw that, I was like, that's an odd 3D. I really have to get that. But I was happy to pick this one up. And when I bought this, the guy actually had two movies... For 20 bucks. So this one cost me 10 And then another odd one. That definitely goes for more than 10 online. I yeah. Know that one. This one was famous. No, sorry. Fabulous. Try again? Yeah. Fabulous Adventures in 3D. And this one is the same thing. It's not narrated. It's just 
video in 3D. It looks like we're going to the beach. We're going to a water park and a zoo. Yeah, and uh, amusement mm -hmm. park. But if you look at the back, it's just... I have no idea what this is. These are some weird 3Ds, but I want to check them out. I'm very intrigued to find out. And it's pretty much a, yeah, a zoo, a water park, and an amusement park in Austria. I was going to say, wait a minute. Did I see Austria? Yeah. In 3D. So that's going to be a, a cool one to check out. But that's pretty much that one from eBay. Next one. Where did I get this one from? Oh, this one came off of eBay also. I saw this one. It was cheap. It had a slip. It was IMAX. And it was 3D. So, I had to pick it up. And it was brand new factory sealed. If I remember right, this was $7.99. So, that was... A good price. Yeah. For an IMAX? jean Michel Cousseau presents... Sharks in 3D. I said with the nice Mr. Slippy Dippy, as P Max says, has the nice embossing on the sharks and on the 3D. The shark itself isn't just a name, but that's a nice release right there. I like 3D, I like the ocean, I like big sharks. So, how can you say no to that one? I will always watch Ocean. Yeah. That's my favorite. I'm curious who... Narrates? Yeah, probably Jean-Michael Cousseau. Also plays in 2D. Who wants to watch it in 2D? Not me. But <laughs> that's pretty much everything that I got in the mail this week. Uh, the next stuff I got was Big Lots. After the big fiasco last week, we're going to a Big Lots that's no longer there. I decided to go to a, a different Big Lots that I've never been to. And I uh, wanted to uh, go over there and see if, uh, A, I find those uh, Alex Cross Universal Monster Steel books that Joe Masello found. But, nope. Bust. But uh, I found four titles while I was there that I didn't have in my collection. Well, let me face that. One of them I have in my collection, but it was an upgrade. Uh, the first one is... Kevin Hart, Know What, uh, What Now, I read it backwards on the screen, What Now, uh, this is um, stand-up comedy from Kevin Hart. I'd watch that. Yeah, it's three bucks. I remember seeing this over the summer uh, when it got released, it was like $20 at Walmart, but for three bucks, I'll pick it up, I'll check it out, I'm happy with that one, so that's a nice find right there. Next one. A movie that I actually wanted a steelbook for when it was at Best Buy, but I didn't find it. And but I'm happy to have it on Blu-ray now because I I don't even think I had this in my collection. That's uh To Kill a Mockingbird. No, I don't think with so. Gregory Peck. This was right there, you can see, five bucks. But it's a nice addition for the collection. So I love this movie. I remember the first time I saw it, I was actually in high school. So and I read the book. So, I'm happy to have this one and uh, to revisit it. Uh, next one. They had a bunch of 3D titles there, but it's pretty much everything that I already had. This movie, I almost bought it on McCarty. It was $16 with free shipping. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, I'll hold off. And I bought something else. When I went to Big Lots, they had it there for $3 with the slip. And that is Dragon Nest. Like I said, it's $3 with a nice slippy. But what the weird thing is, if you look right there, it says Blu-ray and digital. But the side says oh. 3D. And that's what caught my eye. Because on the back, under the bonus features, as you can see right there, it also the one of the bonuses is it gives you the movie in three D. Three D is a bonus. Yeah, that should so, be the movie, right? Right there, you know, they actually wow. gave it to you in three D as well. Nice. But it doesn't say it anywhere unless you look at the spine or the or actually read the back. So for three bucks, 
Wow. I'm going to pick this thing up all day. Where else can you find a, a 3D with a slippy? Horrible animation by the looks of it. But for three bucks, all day. And the last one, I remember, I think Cinema Sickness picked this up. Cinema Sickness or PMAC? Two names you don't hear in the same sentence. But, uh... I've seen this movie and I've enjoyed it. And it would be good in 3D. I didn't like it, but we won't tell her. But, um... I see dead people. Yeah. What? But this movie, I have it. But they had the Digibook. And it was the only copy. And I was like, five bucks, I'm going to pick it up. And that's Fantastic Four. And like I said, this is the, the Digibook. I said I was pretty excited to get this one. I, it's kind of hard to say pretty excited and Fantastic Four in the same sentence. Mm -hmm. But, again, I didn't have it in my collection. Man, the glare on this thing. I can't even get it. But uh, happy to have this one, I said, in the collection. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's shiny. Yeah, that's very Cover. shiny. And with the shrink wrap on it, it just makes it even worse. And the last place I went to was Target. Target this week had a sale on some TV shows, some movies. Ah, oh, that was the one thing I forgot to go pick up today. Nah, for another time. But um, when I went to Target, I went over there looking for one thing. But while I was there, I picked something else that came up this week that I knew I wanted for the collection. They had a ton of the digi books left, but I'm not paying thirty two ninety nine for it. Ew. Yeah, I'll pick it up on Blu-ray, and that's uh, Ralph breaks the internet with a nice slippy. So I'm happy to have this. I've actually never seen the first one. I have it on three D. I'm gonna have to put it in and check it out. But now I'm happy to have the second movie to uh, check out. And the main reason I went there is I have season one, but I didn't have season two. And this week it was on Blu-ray, it was $10 on 4K, it was 20. But I picked up the DVD of DVD. Wow. Ew. It's 11.30 at night, so oh, almost midnight. So I'm a little... <laughs> but uh, I but had, I had to pick... What's today's date? February? Yeah. March? Second? I don't know. <laughs> but uh Stranger Things season two in the nice VHS. Like I said this thing was ten bucks. It'll look nice to your other one. Yeah. It'll be nice, nice next to your other one. Yeah, exactly. It's rubbing hey, and you, yeah, it's an epidemic tonight. <laughs> but uh I'm happy to have this one. Like I said, I've been waiting for this to drop in price. I actually thought I was gonna have to wait till Black Friday like uh, season one. I remember when it first came out on Black Friday. It was like ten bucks, and everybody went nuts. And shockingly, it's still, you know, a, a, a low price. So I'm happy to have this one now. Sooner or later, I'll actually sit down and check it out. But that is everything I got this week. Everything? Uh, yeah. Well, let me phrase that. Everything that I'm going to show this week, I have a little sneak peek for you. Let me move the camera a little bit. Oh, Dad? Don't mind the bulldog. We're not talking about the bulldog. But right all about there, as you can see, uh, I got a little bit of a pickup that from off up today. A nice, big, huge haul of stuff. That uh, I'm actually, you robbed the guy. <laughs> yeah, that I'm. Pr I pretty much robbed the guy uh, on some good stuff, and I'll be showing that off next week. It's it's a good amount of titles. It's almost fifty titles, and I got it for a song. And like I said, it's a good story for next week to pretty much show you that and everything mm -hmm. else that I pick up. You but, told me a few. Stay tuned. Yeah, it's a, it's a good one. But this is thank you everything. I think they're backwards. Yeah. You have them all backwards. I do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks. But that is... It didn't have to be that way. Everything. All right. That we got this week. Right there. Let right. us know if you picked up anything. 
Let yeah. us know if you like any of these. And until next time, bye. bye.